Good morning, there's a free login to the Form Pro ratings today, Sunday, May the 27th. Username Form Pro, password Gallops, and you'll get to the Gallops and also the Greyhounds at Manukau today. And the Greyhounds last Sunday, nine of the dogs that were mapped to lead one out of the 13 races. So if you like following the Greyhounds, have a look at those. Now, let's look at um, the ratings for Hara today, uh, Egmont Racing Club, and we'll go through and just see it's a slow nine track, probably closer to a heavy ten with overnight rain. So let's see how we could have, uh, how we can maybe find some winners. There's the field there for those of you who haven't used the ratings before. We've got the horses, obviously the barrier draw, the exclamation mark means a gear change, so a cool connection. Um, actually, has the blinkers going on. And just the barrier draw, the jockey obviously, the weight allowance, the weight it's carded to um, carry, and then the adjusted weight with the weight allowance off. Day since last start. R1 means its most recent start. R2, second to last start, or second most recent start. R3 and R4, and you can click on that and adjust the ratings in numerical order, Razor's Edge has the best rating, plus 100 there, so it's been running pretty strongly. Um, D1 stands for best at that distance, plus or minus 200 metres, best on the track. Um, fast to dead ratings, it's best rating on a fast to dead surface, it's best rating on a slow to heavy track. Razor's Edge again. Um, it's best rating um, ever. Oh no, so B1 is the best rating of its last four ratings, and the B2 is its best ever rating. And the adjusted, which is the shortcut to finding which horses are the best rated runners, um, click on that and it takes into account the last four starts, one, two, three, four, then adjust, it takes the best rating, 108, takes off the two kgs, and the allowance for 2 kgs is built in and comes up to 106. Then 108 was in a rating of in that mares race at Awapuni, strong mares race, so it rated strongly there. Okay, so Make a Mojito looks an obvious charge, paying $5.50. These are the current odds uh, from the TAB, so you can click on those and see which horses are favoured. We've got Replica, the hot favourite. Up in class, Three dollars is probably a bit short. It won pretty well, but didn't beat a, as good a field as this, obviously. So I couldn't have three dollars. So let's see where's, where the value is. Um, let's go to the filter and all races, all courses on heavy tracks. Let's do slow to heavy because it is a slow track. Race distance plus or minus four hundred meters over the last twelve months. Submit that. And what comes up? Nom de Beal. It's interesting. I mean, he ran fifth. Um, let's have a look. We had 101.2. I think that was when the winner carried a very light weight. Yep. I'll tell you one thing. Carried 52 kgs, and he carried 58 and a half, and finished 2.6 lengths away. So that did pretty highly there on a slow nine track at Hawke's Bay, and a 2000 meter race. Let's go back. Miss Proatini. Cool connection is the one I like here. Um, third rated there. Also rated there. I just didn't like the, the bog at Rotorua last start and cool connection. I thought it, um, let's have a look here. At $8 was um, probably the best each way value there. And Razor's Edge, crikey, in the ratings, he does look pretty strong there. He, um, he rates second equal on top. Rated strongly last start, been rating strongly all along. Gets two kgs off. He's going to be on the pace. Let's have a look at the speed map. Where is he? Right there. He's going to come out and be handy on the pace somewhere. Fisherman's Blues, money's come for that. Drawn out wide, probably go forward. So a tricky little race. So Razor's Edge and Cool Connection uh, look to be the best chances on a slow to heavy track. Nom de Beal should get a nice run and maybe one for an upset. What's he paying?
nom de bill, $21.550. Maybe you want to chuck in into your quaddies or trifectas. Okay, let's have a look at the second race. If I'm going too fast, just click the pause button and go back and have another listen. But uh, anyway, race two is interesting. The highest rated runner is Destiny One. I think it rated 94.3, running fifth on a heavy track at Arua Park. If you can handle a heavy track at Arua Park, you can handle most tracks, I reckon. So let's see what it raced against. It was a pretty good rating, and it was a special conditions race. Hello, my lady one. Good, good mare liquid inspiration so it was against a pretty good horse well better horses than these anyway and even though it finished 9.8 lengths away it still rated quite strongly so and he is paying let's have a look at the ratings here what's the other view the ratings um, let's adjust the adjustments just the only one actually rates quite low but it's getting 4 kgs off and paying $24. Could be one for a roughie. Um, Miss Bumblebee. Let's have a look. This S to H gives the best rating on a slow to heavy track. Destiny 1 actually comes out on top there. So, yeah, maybe $24 and something for a place is uh, going to be a good chance maybe to upset there. Riley Central has got it. Nonny's come for that too. I think Riley Central will have to be a chance as well. Uh, Destiny one twenty four and five fifty, maybe worth a dollar each way. Right, race three. The blinkers go on. Riley ah, Riley Central two or ear covers go on before the race. I had a look before. Right, race three. Let's have a look at the filter first of all. Bit of a tough race this one. Um, feel the breeze on the slow to heavy track with this filter on. Has the best rating uh, with Ripon. Feel the breeze rates there as well. So, what's feel the breeze paying? Had a tough run last start to feel the breeze when it was caught three wide in the open. Um, it's paying six dollars. Uh, Sky High Ratu rates on top, paying ten dollars. Slow to heavy track. Feel the breeze probably looks the the best each way chance. In the field at uh, six dollars. Race four. Um, if you've got more time and you want to see the extended view, if you click on, um, I've set it up here. Race four. You get the last five starts of each horse with the comment, um, and you can dig deep into the replay, which horses it's beat. It's got the rating there as well. Right. Um, soft to heavy looks like oh you came a hot Friday it's interesting this filter there's a couple of horses here reveal themselves came a hot Friday has the best two ratings on a heavy 11 and slow 8 track and even though it was 8th and 2nd and Charlie Rose second rated Charlie Rose ran a good race fresh up trainer said it uh Probably would need that run and more ground next up, and that, that's what it gets now. So it has to be a reasonable chance, you'd think. I thought it was a nice horse too. So let's see where they sit in the big picture with the ratings, with the adjustments. Click on that again, and we've got Gladstone Bell. Came a hot Friday, paying twenty one dollars. Rating so it's got to be a chance, and Charlie Rose comes in 95, but a definite improver. Nice, nice mare. So um, came hot Friday, another roughy. These wet tracks often throw them up, so make sure she's in your quaddies. Race five. Let's have a look at the. Oh, I'm going to do the adjustments first. So on any track surface, time bomb rates on top along with Big Ben. He's paying eleven dollars. Hamiltonian Glory Days. Favorite is Manhattan Flame. The blinkers go on. Exclamation says that. Um, got a gear change, so the blinkers are going on. Three thirty doesn't rate too highly, but it's a nice horse. And I think if it's a genuine slow nine track, it's got to be a, a 
a good chance. So I did well last start as well. So um, let's have a look at the filter. And we have Effect Dev rates on top from Hamiltonian Big Ben Manhattan Flame. So it looks like it's a pretty even sort of lot of horses with these. So you couldn't go crazy on these. Manhattan Flame I do like. Um, Glory Days was scratched from yesterday. Has to be a chance. Um, but probably go wide with your first leg of the quaddy there. Race 6. Let's have a look here. There's one flea I like here. And it's called Dan Silla. I uh, really like the run last start. Got into the slower part of the track in the centre while the other three got wider and rated 90.6. Um, would have rated higher if it was further out, so I think it would be on top. Had the best rating there. And Calvados uh, made a nice race last start, too. So I think Dan Silla has got to be a really good chance in this third up. And let's have a look, race. Six wasn't it? Race six. Yep. Dan Seller, Matt Cameron, Murray Baker, Andrew Forsman train third up. If Raj handled the wet track, no trouble. And it's a nice looking filly as well, so I thought she was a good bet. Okay, let's go back to uh, there. That's the second leg of the quaddy. So probably those two um, have to be anchors for the quaddy. Race seven. Interesting. Jay Puno has the two best ratings on a slow and a heavy track and ran a good race fresh up last campaign. You'd think it would be better this time round. Might have had a jump out too recently. Handyman rates well as well. Manakia also. But um, Jay Puno has to be a, a good chance, I thought, in this race. Bring up the ratings. Let's adjust them. Uh, 5.50. Gee, actually rates clearly on top after weight adjustments. Yep. So he it does he she does look uh, a good chance. Handy man's had a few goes. Um, Queen LJ is a nice mare. Has to be a chance. Matt Cameron on. And yep. So maybe Jay Perno. Nice each way money there. I think the money's come for it too. Let's have a look. Race six. Oops. Dan Siller, no, 360. Kavaros has gone out. And the rest are going out too with, with the tight market being opened up early at 130%. So, Dan Siller, good chance. Race 7, what's the favourite there? We've got Queen LJ. Oh, sorry, that was race 7 we were looking at. Queen LJ, J Perno 550 has come in from 650. So has Manukia and Queen LJ. Must have been uh, scratchings earlier on. Yeah, dancing a real later on um, since they opened. So Jay Perno. And those three do look probably the best chances to take in your quaddy. With Jay Perno prob probably the other best each way value being on top in the ratings. And the last race. Looks like a toughie this one. Crikey, brilliant action. If we can get a soft lead, we'll have a look in a second. Um, could be the way to go. La La Brusco, uh, good run last start, Mr. Geronimo. So the market is saying pff, 650 favourite. Pretty compressed. Maybe your field job if you want to go that way, if you're that way inclined. Let's have a look here. Last race. Now, brilliant action. If we can get a soft lead, we have to be hard to beat. Let's have a look. It yeah, looks like it's going to lead, and Blazing Opal can go forward, Deep Blue, Mr. Geronimo. So it looks like you can get out there and dictate who's riding him. Let's have a look. Um, Jonathan Waddell here, yeah, no, <laughs> backing and riding ability there, riding really well, and combining well with the stable as well. So Jonathan Waddell and Brian Action. They look tough. Let's have a look at the filter. Blazing Opal rates on top. Two, t two best ratings. So Blazing Opal and Bad Boy Brown. Gee. The top six rated runners or ratings have Blazing Opal and Bad Boy Brown 
right up there. So take those two in your quaddies. Brilliant action. Rates nicely there on a slow eight, slow seven. Rates strongly. Should get the ideal run. Uh, you've been let up. It's a nice mare from the Breaker Forsman stable. Has to be in as well. Labrusco. Um, money's come for that, so has to be a chance as well. Let's go back to the ratings and have a look. Gee. So if you don't want to take the field, what do you take? Cotton Eve is a nice horse. Uh, Red Rascal, obviously rated really well last start. Uh, career best, so rated well before then too. So gets three kgs off, got to be in. Cotton Eva, Hutch, he, he can easily upset. You've been let up. Maya Zabella, not really. And Briscoe, Mr. Geronimo, has to be a chance getting out wider. They do come wide, wide draw could help. Bad Boy Brown, brilliant action. Blazing Opal rates down the bottom, but uh, we know it rates well on a slow to heavy track, so gee whiz, tough race. But um, yeah, all I can say is good luck and go as wide as you can in that league. Anyway, I hope that helps, and uh, you're back a winner. Uh, just see how the track plays out during the day, and if those leaders are at advantage, like they were at Trentham on the pace, um, you might be able to make a few dollars. So good luck. You'll need that.